Hi there! Welcome to Typical Books and today it's a bit of a catch-up. Catch-up, haul, TBR, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of all those things in one and here we are in the middle of June. If this is your first time visiting Typical Books, thank you very much and welcome. Be sure to subscribe to catch up with new horror releases every so often and of course reviews of horror books of all kinds. Before I get into new releases, I'll talk a little bit about my TBR because I've got a little stack of books right here that I'm reading. If you were following along with my House of Leaves reading, you'll know that I wanted something just kind of plain after. So Horror in the Woods by Lee Montford, who has a new book coming out actually. Um, this has been kind of a godsend in that it's gotten me into just reading something. I'm good, kind of devouring this book. Uh, no pun intended. So yeah, it's a really wonderful quick read and I should have a review for this up very, very soon. Right after that, I'm going to dig into Ramsey Campbell's The Wise Friend. I've seen a few reviews for this popping up, so I want to get to it before it gets spoiled for me. Very excited. It has a really interesting concept. And I think the twist is that the person who is the obsessed person following the thing, um, that obsession gets passed down a generation, so to speak. Uh, so yeah, I'm very interested in that. And then following that, it will be Armed in Her Fashion by Kate Hartfield, which I picked up a while ago. Uh, it was my last public outing <laughs> at the end of February, right before this pandemic hit and this book opens with a pandemic to in a certain fashion. Mm -hmm. Punch? I'm just punny today. Um, I don't mean to cross you with my puns. <sighs> yeah, um, but I'm very excited to get this. Uh, I have a reading coming up on the North Grenville Public Library page and so does Kate. Hers is actually before mine, so hers might even be up by now. So I'll leave a link in the description to check that out. And then eventually, I think in, in a week, mine will be up or something like that, a week or two. So yeah, very excited to get to some Kate Hartfield. You'll notice that I have my cross up because I love it and it's going to be going back upstairs soon enough just because it's unwieldy here in my office. This is my office by the by. Um, if you haven't seen the bookshelf tours where I actually go up the stairs and stuff, yeah this is my office. It is a mess right now because I just taped those two wonderful vampire videos and I won't stop thanking Jason from Jason's Weird Reads over and over again for the idea because that was just super fun but my office is a mess. There are stacks of books you cannot see that <laughs> are messing the place up. So in amongst that current reading, I'm going to be reading some shorts. I have finished The Girl in the Video by Mega David Wilson, and I'm excited to talk about that. I'm going to also be reading Semen by CC Adams, which I talked about in a previous new release video. And another one from just the previous video is Gutter Breed. Uh, super thanks to Marty Young, who wrote Gutter Breed, and CC Adams, who wrote Semen, for sending me along arcs of those two books. Very excited to get to those. So without further suspense, here are some new releases from Horror Writers Association authors. Two things that I noticed from this particular crop of lovelies is that there are a lot of really cool artworks and there's a few standout books, one in particular. So I'm going to go from the what's already out to what is yet to be released. The Dark Stranger by Lauren McMillan. This comes from Deadly Quill Publishing and this should already be out. He comes to the town doing what he's done for hundreds of years. He entices the young to follow him only to lead them to destruction. Will Holden Brenner, a small town chief of police, be able to save his town? As the murders and disappearances mount up, Brenner must fight to keep his town from imploding while he puts the pieces together. This sounds like a, a Pied Piper thing. There's a uh, I believe, I don't know if it's a Korean or if it's a Thai film called Piper and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I like a twist on that particular tale. Corpse Whisperer Sworn by H.R. Boldwood. This comes from Third Street Press and is out. Follow Ali Nighthawk to exciting New Orleans where she raises the dead, puts down rotters, and dabbles in the mystical world of hoodoo. She's on the trail of an evil necromancer who will stop at nothing to rule the world and his army of dead heads. Is her magic strong enough to save the day? And that's magic with a K. Or will this necromancer from her past kill her before she gets the chance? She figures she's got a 50-50 shot. Make that 
I'm no actress. What <laughs> am I kidding? The Hollow, Volume 3, Various Authors. Uh, this comes from Breaking Rules Publishing, and there wasn't a lot of a description. So it was uh, hard for me to cobble together, so it's very short. But 16 writers have graced these pages, and they're international authors, so from, uh, from all over the world. And there are incredible short stories. Horror. The Hollow is where all things evil lie. The cover looks cool. That's one thing I will say of all of these, the covers look cool. This one looks really, really compelling. There's two more that they all have really cool covers. I will say that the very last one though has like probably my most favorite cover. Maybe because I'm just such a typography nut. So this one is probably on a lot of people's TBRs. A lot of people have already picked it up. Some people have probably done reading this. Final Cuts. New Tales of Hollywood Horror and Other Spectacles, edited by Ellen Datlow. This is a Blumhouse uh, Doubleday book, and it is out on the second. Final Cuts brings together new, terrifying stories inspired by the many screens we can't peel our eyes away from. With original stories from a diverse list of some of the best-known names in horror, Final Cuts will haunt you long after the credits roll. Two things about Ellen. She just had an AMA on Reddit if you missed it and you want to check out the, some of the things Ellen has to say about publishing, editing, stuff like that head over to reddit uh, dot books. I think it's reddit under reddit books and look for Ellen's AMA. It was really cool. And I love when she posts work because I don't have to edit it. No one has to edit it. Not just me. There's two other editors that work on this after I get it. No one has to edit it. It's awesome. Jagged Edges and Moving Parts by Pete Messling. This is from Other Kingdoms Publishing and this is out now. If these stories have one common attribute, it's that they deliver suspense like a burning fuse while putting forward a distinguishable and consistent literary voice. A kind of rope handrail in a dark cave that keeps you assured just enough to continue moving from one unknown to the next. This is an exploration of the darkest corners of our shared experience. So a collection, and I do like that, and I do believe it is a one, a single author collection. And now the book that I was so intrigued by the cover. Upon reading the description, I had memories of Detritus in Love, which wasn't for me, but it was the sort of thing that, that people who are fans of Bizarro might really, really, really click with. And I think that this might be something, this is a sleeper, I think. And it's going to be out in a couple weeks, on the 29th. Cries to Kill the Corpse Flower by Ronald J. Murray. This comes out from Bizarro Pulp Press, which is an imprint of Journal Stone. Cries to Kill the Corpse Flower is a stomach slit by knives and guts spilled on the pavement. It is an organized chaos of a man on the brink of running, a man gasping for air in those split seconds, his head breaks through the surface, a man who realized you can't outrun yourself. Told in the narrative arc of a crow crowned king and a corpse flower queen in their castle in the suburbs. I, I don't know what any of that means, but it was fun to read. So yeah, maybe this will be fun to read. Cries to Kill the Corpse Flower. What lovely art and what a lovely premise. So those are the new releases for the middle of June 2020. Are any of those books on your TBR list? There's probably one or two that's going to hit mine, although my TBR list is toppling as evidence from the beginning of this video. Uh, let me know what you're reading in the comments below because I'm always interested to hear about new horror or things that I might have missed. If there's anything that you think I should be reading, definitely let me know. Thank you very much for watching and have an ooky spooky day.